come Holy Spirit. All right, it's been a little while since my last video, but since then my beard has grown back a little bit. My hair got a lot shorter, but I got a cut today. So this weekend was incredible. A lot of God's grace was evident in my life, and I'll tell you why. It's because the Holy Spirit is living, and he's alive, and he's alive in us. He's alive in me. So let's talk about him. So God the Holy Spirit is the indwelling presence of God inside of us. He's the third member of the Trinity. He's the love between the Father and the Son, which is eternally being given between them. And he's also the pledge of our inheritance. So we have the Holy Spirit in us as a pledge that we belong to God. So it's awesome. We have the Holy Spirit inside of us, but it's really like God has us in the Holy Spirit. Right? So it's almost like if you think about God as being pregnant, like we're in God because the Holy Spirit is in us. Right? So the Holy Spirit gives us faith, hope, and love. And when we believe, when we hope, and when we love, it's evidence that the Holy Spirit is inside of us. So the Holy Spirit does three things. He guides, he gives us power, and he sanctifies us. So by guiding us, he leads us to all truth, especially concerning the will of God. So we need to rely on the Holy Spirit for our vocations, which is what God wants us to do in this world. He also empowers us, so he gives us strength to continue, especially uh, maybe you failed in your Lenten penances or whatever. Holy Spirit will give you the grace to continue and to persevere. He'll also give you the grace to persevere in holiness and being holy in a society and a generation that is seeking things of this world. But he'll also sanctify you, which means he'll set you apart and he'll make you holy. He'll make you like God. Jesus, in the Gospel of John, I believe chapter 8, he says, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me, and from his belly will flow rivers of living water. Then St. John goes to say that Jesus said this of the Holy Spirit, to whom those who believed in him would receive after he was glorified. So that means that Jesus sends us the Holy Spirit to make us like himself, but himself as the resurrected Son of God. So through the Holy Spirit, we're seated in heavenly places with Christ, which means we're literally in his body. We are the body of Christ. And where is the body of Christ? Well, it's in heaven. So how should we be living our lives? A lot of people live their lives as trying to get to heaven. So I'm going to live my life being good, trying to get to heaven. But actually, we should live our lives from heaven to earth, seeing things from God's perspective, especially seeing problems from God's perspective or suffering from God's perspective. So God will work everything for the good of those who love him. Right? So we should see everything in our lives as that. Not as directly willed by God or desired by him, but that he can use everything for our good to prosper us. Because he says, I know well the plans I've made for you, plans to give you hope and a future. And all of his thoughts towards us are of peace and not of affliction, which means he doesn't think of like, how can I trip Ted up today or how can I cause him to sin and make him feel really bad? No, God says, how can I love Ted today? How can Ted receive my love today? How can he know me more today? So Holy Spirit, he's amazing. He's inside of us, and he has all these gifts that he longs to give his people. Right? So a lot of times, if you're going through confirmation prep or RCIA, you'll hear about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And there's like wisdom, counsel, wonder and awe, all these great things. But there's also charisms, which the church describes as these tools that the Holy Spirit gives us he equips the body of Christ to evangelize and to be a sign of holiness to the world. So we'll talk more about that in later videos. But just know that Holy Spirit is always with you. He's inside of you. He's the one that makes the sacraments possible. He's the one that makes your baptism possible. He's the one that makes you a son or a daughter, beloved of God. So maybe if you don't know the Holy Spirit too well, check out my playlist I made about the Holy Spirit. Um, especially the videos saying, like, what is the Holy Spirit or who is the Holy Spirit. And let's just remember that he is almost sometimes forgotten because uh, he's not really mentioned too much in the Bible. But just know that he's all over it and he's been there from the beginning because he is the pre-existing God together with the Father and the Son. So let's just pray all glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And Holy Spirit, I pray that you convict and you just show yourself in the lives of everyone that's watching this video, that they would know you and adore you and worship you and honor you as the living God who lives inside of them. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God bless you guys. We'll see you next time.